Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay from Me, Him, The Dog and The Baby. Today I'm going to be showing you the Hoover Free Jet Cordless Vacuum Cleaner, which you can see just behind me. Now, we do have a couple of different vacuum cleaners and one stays downstairs, that's a heavier vacuum cleaner and we've also got this one for upstairs. So we've only got two carpets upstairs, which is in this room, which is our spare bedroom and Erin's bedroom. So we don't need something really sort of heavyweight we don't need something that gets used on a daily basis we just need something for occasional use and this is what we've got the the free jet cordless for so out of the box this comes in two pieces it's all put together at the moment so you can see it's got the handle and the brush so the brush comes off it's got a red button just above it and that pushes and you can pull that out. It clips on really nice and easy, it takes two seconds. So this is the other piece, which is the main body of the Hoover. Um, what happens is, it's got a red button there and you can fold the handle down. So for storage, it breaks down really, really small. You can fit it in quite a small space and it's nice and easy to put back up when you're ready to use. Just a simple push of a button and you can go from it being stored to ready to use again. So I'm just going to pop the, the brush back on. Now that is a power brush. So that means that you can do different floor types. You can go from carpet to wooden floor. You can do the stairs, all of that. And the handle of the brush, of the Hoover, sorry, has got different settings. So you can hear that just go on there. Um, that has got off, floor and carpet. So if you push this down to different settings, that automatically turns the hoover on. Which I think is quite nice because then you don't have to faff around with the on off switch. You can just do it just by the one the one button, which is, which is fantastic. However, it does also have a different on off button. And that one is right here on the main part of the hoover. Now this is because this cordless hoover also comes with a um, handheld hoover so you can press the all big red button so you can see all the bits that you're supposed to press it's nicely sort of colour coordinated for the bits that you need to use if you press that button this is your handheld vacuum cleaner and I love that it comes with that because some things you only need for a small job you don't need a full hoover and this little handheld is fantastic. It means that you don't have to buy two separate products if you don't want to. So this has got the on off switch on the front. And what it's also got, you can open that at the back. You can see your suction is at the front there. So that's really nice extra that you get with it. I haven't seen a Hoover that does that, to be honest. Um, and I think it's, a, like I said, it's a great addition. It just clips back into place. And what it also has is integrated tools. So if you've got the, the handheld Hoover off, it's also got a crevice tool, which you can attach to the front. And it's also got a upholstery brush. So they just clip onto the front and they sit nicely on the back of your Hoover. I can get that back on now, which I probably can't. I'll figure that out in a little bit. But that sits on the back of the Hoover, and it means that you've always got the bits that you need, no matter where you are, what you're cleaning, um, everything is all together. So it's a really nice compact machine, really. Um, now this has got a 30 minute run time. When you get this out of the box, it does tell you that you need to charge it for a full 24 hours, which is crazy. It's such a long time, but we made sure that we did this. We didn't want to mess with the battery at all, and we've had no problems. Once it's fully charged, there's a little light just on the front underneath the on-off switch on the handheld, and it tells you when it's fully charged. So it's worth reading the instructions and making sure that you do charge the battery properly because that means your machine will run better for longer. 
Um, so as I said, we've only got two carpets up here. So it's very, very rare that I need to use it for 30 minutes at a time. I think probably 10 is the maximum. And I've used it a good couple of times so far without having to charge it which is another good thing i don't want things to be charging all the time because i use them too much so it's nice that this one has got quite a long-ish run time for a cordless vacuum so this one came to us from ao.com and it was under 100 pound so if you're looking for a budget cordless vacuum cleaner or you haven't had a cordless vacuum cleaner before and you want to try one this is a really nice one to start with this was our first cordless vacuum as well and didn't want to go out and spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds just in case i didn't like it but it's lightweight it can be moved around really easily and it cleans good which is the most important thing with a hoover i think um that being said it's not as powerful as our other vacuum cleaner but that's corded and it's quite a big machine because we do use that on a daily basis. I have got a toddler and she gets downstairs pretty messy. So this isn't the kind of vacuum cleaner if you need to use it on a daily basis, I don't think, um, which is a shame. But that's reflected in the price and the size. But as I said, it's a good starter cordless vacuum cleaner. So if you've got any other questions, anything I've missed, let me know in the comments and I'll answer them as best I can. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.